Hi everyone, welcome back to Gracie's Garden. So I am in Florida Zone 9B and we are going to plant up some plants today and some seeds. It's getting hot here in Florida and I'm a little behind on the seed starting so we're going to get going with planting up some Nicotiana. And I have four different varieties here or different colors. So we're going to plant these up first. So I was reading on the back of them so a lot of them are just surface so in early spring technically it's still spring even though it's 90 degrees out so we're just going to go ahead and sprinkle these over this and then we're going to plant up some other plants and transplant a plant so we're going to do this one first this is the one i currently bought i bought it at a, a festival of an actual plant and these are just so beautiful And I can't say it's all these colors. It's like it starts out this color and then it kind of fades to these colors as the flower gets older. Ooh, those are some tiny looking seeds. I'm just going to mix all these kind of together. These are even tinier. It looks like they're pelletized. We'll do these next. Tiny little seeds again. And then we'll do these. Tiny little seeds. Oh my goodness. Can they stick into my hand? Well, hopefully that will go well. <laughs> I'm just going to lightly push them in a little bit. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to water them quite yet. I am going to just mist them lightly later on. And we'll get on to planting the next plant. Okay, so the next project we're going to do is plant up this begonia into this pot here. So this begonia I've had for probably a year and it's been in this nursery pot. So I am going to... I think I'm just going to leave the leaves in there. It's got some soil in there. And we're just going to pot it up into here. There's not a lot of soil left in this nursery pot. Well, it doesn't want to come out of there. There 
I think it will be happier in this bigger pot with more soil in it. Hmm, what did I do with the soil? Just a minute. All right, got the soil. Okay, so here it is all potted up. I'm going to put this, I think, back in the spot I had it, which is underneath the patio table. Table, It's a glass table, so it gets um, like maybe filtered light, I guess that would be considered. But it's doing well there, and it's put on a lot of growth since it's been underneath the table. And uh, I'm just going to leave it where it seems to be happy. Okay, so the next plant we're going to repot is the shingling vine. It is basically outgrown the plank that is on. I have this, um, it's not a moss pole, it's like a, the cocoa husk in there. And it's a tall one, but it is um, a little wobbly in this container in the nursery pot. So I'm going to put it in this big pot, which is heavy. And this is on the front porch, so even though it doesn't have a drain hole, I'll be, be, be able to control the water on it, is what I'm trying to say. So... Um, so we're going to repot that. I'm going to take it off this moss. It hasn't actually connected to the, the pole yet. And only one side of it is shingling. Um, the other one is, it was cut here when I bought it. Um, so it just hasn't really grown since that. I don't know if I should take it off this plank. I think I'm just going to leave it on there. And I might loosen this rope on it. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Has some nice healthy roots there. Mm, I'm not sure where to put the post. Maybe over on this side. And I'll let it go up that way. Yeah, that would probably be the best.
I think we'll just be able to take this and wrap it around for right now. It's got a lot of um, a lot of roots coming out or aerial roots roots coming out. So hopefully it should go into the cocoa of um, the coconut husk in a little bit. Um, I think I am going to clip this off. It looks like there's another vine in there trying to come out over here and one in here. So I think they're kind of just pushed too close together. Let me go get my scissors. I think I'll leave some of these other, I think I'll cut this one too. Yeah, look, there's another one here. It actually looks like it might have died off. Because it was in there so tightly. So hopefully that will be able to breathe now. Yes, I think that's much better. Oh, is there one more back there? Okay. So the only thing that's um, still tight is the top part. Oh, look at that little grasshopper or something. I don't know what that is. So I think that will give everything else a little bit more breathing room. Is there one more piece of rope? Yep. I tore the leaf a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. So, yeah. Looks like there's actually another little baby back behind there, and they just couldn't breathe. Oh, boy. Huh. Okay, so that was a good thing then. Happy accidents. But, uh, yeah, we'll give this some time to get attached to the post. And, like I said, this is going on the front porch, so... Should do well, hopefully, on the front porch. It's been there for a few months, and it's been doing well there. So, and it's put on a lot of growth while it's there. So, let's go put it on the porch. Okay, next we're going to do milkweed. I do have some milkweed going already, but the aphids have gotten the milkweed. Um, I have tons of seed pods on the milkweed plant, and the aphids are covering the whole thing. So, I definitely need more milkweed. I'm just going to put two or three in each little section here. Maybe, f yeah, about three. And, let's see. I could have gone a little deeper on those seeds. It says a fourth of an inch to half an inch, but it's probably about a fourth of an inch. I think we'll be okay. Uh, next, we're going to do the drumsticks. And let's see on these. Oh, about an eighth of an inch. Okay. I think we'll be okay planting these now. Tiny little seeds. <laughs> Looks like they're going to get blown away in the wind. They're so delicate and flimsy looking. Ah. I'm glad there's some more in there. I can't remember if we put some in there, but we'll add some in. I'm just going to sprinkle some dirt on top of these. Let's see. 
this tray originally had um, seeds I bought off of Etsy and this one here is the only one that came up um, I don't know what it is I have to go back and look but so I have had such bad luck with Etsy seeds I just don't think I'm going to buy from Etsy anymore unless it's a live plant but I don't even buy live plants off of Etsy anymore now that there's so many nurseries carrying the plants that you're looking for so I don't feel the need for that anymore all right, so I think those will be done. And we're going to do another tray, and this is going to be Snapdragons. So the lettuce we're not going to plant because it's just too hot. So it'll be the two Snapdragons. I'm looking forward to this one. I like the colorful mix more than anything. I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> My bad, guys. I had to get some new clippers this week. I lost mine in the garden. I'm sure they're here somewhere. I just have not been able to find them. Uh, which is surprising because they're a pink candle, so I think they would stand out. But I now have a pair of these husky so I bought two pairs one for the front yard one for the backyard uh, home people had everything on sale they were having a spring black Friday they called it all the potting soil not only the miracle Grow, which is the five for ten but um, all brands were on sale brands I never heard of before even um, a lot of organic natural stuff but and then a lot of soil all the tools even patio furniture was marked down already which i'm not quite sure i understand that one but i bought a lawn chair so, which is what i'm sitting in right now all right so we'll do the snapdragons and see these go to see just says surface so okay this year, I am going to try to be good on when the snapdragons come up. You know, you're supposed to uh, snip them. I don't know if you can see that over my dirty hands, but really tiny little seeds. I'm going to be uh, careful about trying to, or be mindful of snipping them um, so that they get bushier. Then we'll do this one. I'm always scared to do that in the past, but this year I'm just going to go ahead and do it. My seeds didn't want to come out of the package for some reason. There's still a couple more in there. And I'm just going to lightly pat them down. Take out these pieces of wood. Okay, I think they'll be okay. Let's give my hands a shake on the seat. And then... The sweet peas we're going to have to do later. They have to be soaked overnight. I believe that's what they said. Yeah, soak seeds overnight. So, I'm going to do that. I can feel these seeds already. They're nice and fat little seeds. Let me see if I can show you here. Oh, yeah. Big seeds there. All right, so we'll do those tomorrow. Okay, everyone I think that is it for today I didn't realize how long this is getting but 
I will see you in the next video, and we'll do the Snapdragons, and, not Snapdragons, the um, Sweet Peas in the next video. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Look at my geraniums. Doesn't it look good? And look, I found that pot in the garden in the backyard. <laughs> it's a nice pot. No drain hole. Kind of looks more like home decor than an actual plant pot, but that's fine. But Alright, I'll see you all in the next video. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Bye!